What speed flying wings do best is widen the range of conditions that you can fly in. On days when you wouldn't even think about pulling your paraglider out of the bag, you can pull out a bullet when it's crossed and strong and gusty and still have a great time. This sport's so versatile that you can, uh, you can be a beginner paraglider, you can be a beginner skydiver, you can be an expert skydiver and still have a lot of fun on a weekend, uh, holiday, anytime you want to uh, bust out the wing and have a good time with your friends. It's, it's, a great, it's a great way to do it. Just the other day we were at a site that was very windy. In fact, it would have been totally impossible to fly normal sized paragliders but the conditions were just perfect for speed flying wings. We were soaring wings from eight meters to 16 meters in size. Pilots of all different sizes and weights were flying. Pilots of all different skill levels were flying. And we had an awesome day on a Sunday afternoon when normally we probably would have just been sitting around talking about paragliding in the parking lot. Being a speed flying pilot opens up new doors. It allows you to experience new sights and more conditions. It tunes your ground handling and will for sure make you a better paraglider pilot. Speed flying is faster than paragliding and a lot of pilots will need to get used to that, but it's really quite simple. You pull one brake and you go right, you pull the other brake, you go left, and it's that basic. You just need to adjust to the amount of altitude that you lose in your turns. So setting up landings in the beginning will require just a little bit of thought and hopefully some instruction, but afterwards you'll pick it up very fast and you'll understand that the landings, although tricky at first, maybe, will probably become your favorite part. Ozone's always been really big on fun factor, and we've nailed it with the bullet series. Coming from skydiving, it's all about the swoop, that uh, transition from flying to landing, um, where you're sweeping by the ground and you see, you know, it's called ground rush. You watch the ground whipping by. With speed flying, that becomes endless. You can endlessly swoop. Um, you can follow the terrain down the hill, getting that ground rush the entire time and during your landing. Yeah, I think that uh, coming from a paraglider background, you're going to have no problems with this wing on the ground, and, and it's going to it's going to seem like effortless. Uh, coming from a skydiving background, you might have a little bit of issues at first. Uh, when it comes to your landings and, and uh, being able to actually fly the wings and dealing with those kind of speeds, um, you might be a little ahead of the game as opposed to some of the paragliders. You have the best of both worlds. You can get a little deeper in the brakes and soar just like you would on a paraglider, doing passes back and forth or you can let up on the brakes and uh, it starts to dive towards the hill and you can swoop down the hill like you would if there was no wind. You start further away from the hill and you can slowly work yourself closer and closer and once you get comfortable holding that speed and knowing you have flare authority all the time, it's really simple. We were able to fly in some really strong conditions where flying a paraglider would be virtually impossible. Um, it was midday, conditions were really bumpy, Winds were really strong and a little bit cross, but we were still able to get out on our bullets and have a great time ripping around, um, flying around with our buddies. Foot launching speed flying wings of any size is possible. We foot launched wings from 7.7 .7 meters all the way up to 16 meters, and of course bigger than that is almost like a normal paraglider. Generally pilots will choose a wing that is in the 14 to 16 meter range depending on their weight and their experience level and also the conditions of the site they like to fly at try and kite a wing for a little bit. When you start kiting a speed wing and you see how much easier it is to kite than uh, a paragliding, you kind of lose um, some of that intimidation factor. Speed flying is a lot more versatile than paragliding, not only for the sites that we fly, but also the conditions that we fly them in. The control systems and all the, uh, all the risers and lines and everything are very similar to a paraglider. Um, it's a great tool to use in high winds or just as a, a, a fun thing to play around in the park, but it'll definitely help you hone your kiting skills and uh, that'll translate directly into being a better paraglider pilot. It's amazing that these bullets can go out in these conditions where we wouldn't even dream about flying a paraglider in, and it's just so easy and so mellow and feels so right. And just be out there soaring for days. Everybody else is down on the ground <laughs> looking up at you. A lot of pilots don't feel comfortable flying without a reserve or back protection and that's actually not a problem for speed flying. It's totally possible to fly any speed flying wing with a harness that has a good amount of back protection and a reserve parachute. The Attack is a purpose-built speed flying harness. Um, not only does it fold up small and uh, pack up nice in the backpack, it also has more of an upright position which is more comfortable when you're flying at higher speeds and uh, with more g-force. 
It's nice to be light and mobile and have a very compact, easy to carry speed flying harness. Before, when we were just paraglider pilots, you know, the winds were too strong. Sometimes it's even too strong for hang gliders and uh, we can still get out there on their 16s and just rip it up. It's lots of fun. Bullet series in general are uh, much more stable than a typical paraglider or any other speed flying wing that I've flown. Um, they sit at a higher angle of attack and uh, they have a lot more internal pressurization and they move around a lot less than other speed flying wings. So in active air, I wouldn't want to be on anything but a bullet. Basically, I honestly believe that all paraglider pilots should own a speed flying wing because it really opens up the amount of conditions that you can fly in and also the sights you can fly in. It's not really replacing the sport. We all love to paraglide still and we still do as much as we possibly can. But speed flying wings allow us to fly more, basically. And every pilot should have one. It's just part of the modern quiver of wings that people are discovering. Now, when there's no wind and you're just flying down, where it would normally just be a sled ride paragliding, and a lot of uh, paraglider pilots sort of poo-poo that, and they don't really think that sled rides are fun, with a speed flying wing, it's actually awesome. It's fast, it's great, you're sort of carving the air, feeling the speed next to the terrain, and just feeling a lot more wind on your face. Definitely, yeah, the speed that it opens up and the possibilities for flying against the terrain is truly amazing. So a normal flight where, whereas with a paraglider it would just be sort of a glide down and a landing, becomes super exciting with a speed flying wing and a lot of fun. Why? Why? Why?